Greetings students, welcome to this video lecture series on computer application, lecture number 6, chapter number 3, introduction to HTML and part 2. Lecture we have seen from 1 till 5, we saw till basic HTML tags and what are their basic purposes. We saw the HTML tag, head tag, title tag and uh, in today's lecture, we will be discussing uh, the body attributes, all of them uh, one by one, and we will also show you the example of HTML and how to program it so that you get gain a better insight of uh, how to code in HTML. So attributes of body tag. So background. Uh, the first uh, body tag is. Uh, the first attribute in the body tag is the background tag background attribute so it specifies the background image for the web page and supported graphic format in these cases are generally .dif and .jpg which are very popular uh, graphic formats and the syntax for this case is uh, syntax for this case is you just open the angular bracket and type body then uh, mention background equals and uh, you mention the url in the double quotes open and double quotes close and then close the whole angular bracket okay students now we will see the usage of the background attribute in the body tag so we begin our program just like any other html document And then there's corresponding closing tag, then the header, closing tag for header. Let me just. All right. Then the title of web page then in the body section the body tag we need to define the attribute here as a background background equals as per the syntax we need to enter the url over here let us suppose we want to add this particular image right here in our web page so what we will do is we'll right click here and we will click on the properties so we see the properties this is the location or the url of the image so we just copy this copy and we can paste it over here in the sticky note close it and then the name as we can see over here rid.jpg so after desktop we enter another backslash and type rid the name of this file which is rid.jpeg which is a supported format by the html then we copy all of it and paste it here in the url that is the location of this file so in this manner we are uh, through with the inserting of the image in the body section of the web page then we need to close the body tag and additionally we can also enter the text of the body
right so we need to again save this as html document save as background dot h html click save minimize this open our folder and we can see background.html this is our file that we just created click on it double click on it and wait for the chrome to open so this is how the page will appear so you can read the text also this is how i look in the black and white picture and this is the image which we used over here this is the file location of uh, html background html document so we have used this picture in the background attribute of the body uh, background attribute of the body as you can see over here this is the address of this picture that we are seeing next comes the text attribute of body tag so this attribute is very simple just like the previous one this attribute specifies the color of the text so even though it can be a bit misleading by just uh, mentioning the text after body so just uh, go through this syntax this is how you will write in your examination as well syntax is asked in the examination write the syntax for this particular attribute of uh, the, the body tag or maybe the font tag so they, there are attributes for the font tags as well so this syntax is very important make a good note of this here we see that body uh, this is the opening tag of body and uh, the text over here we will write text and equals to we will mention in the double quote the color name for example red blue green and uh, or we can this uh, you see this bar over here it represents the or it can either be the color name or it can be the hex number which is hexadecimal number we'll, uh, this is the detail of this can be found in the class 11th higher classes and uh, or you can also specify or you can also specify the rgb number which is red green blue code so numbers are identified via their rgb code number or their hexadecimal number or simply by the color name which is very simple so here we have another example of the text attribute so this is the as we can see on the screen this is a notepad and this is a basic structure of any html program and so we need to specify the title first so text attribute will be the title of the web page the heading title and the body here we need after in this opening tag of the body we need to specify the attribute text so the text attribute will specify the color so you can mention the color over here you can mention the color over here as whichever color you would like to like your text to be of for example red additionally you can also mention it by the hex hexadecimal uh, code of red or or the RGB code so this all of it will mean the same thing the same color for sake of simplicity of program we will just type text equals red and then we can write the body element which is then we need to save it like any other HTML program save as text attribute dot html save it open the file text attribute open it
So here we see the program over here. So text attribute, as we mentioned, the heading over here appears on the tab. And uh, you can see the color of the text now. So that is all about the text attribute of the body, the body attribute called text. And this is the syntax. Also, this is the syntax. Syntax is the way of writing uh, the code so that this understands. All right, students. So we will see yet another attribute of uh, the body tag, which is BG color. So BG over here stands for the background uh, color. So if we want to change the background color, we can use the BG color attribute in the body opening tag. So we will see the syntax of that. So it specifies the background color of the document. The document is HTML. We will not specifically mention HTML each and every time. So the document will implicitly refer to the HTML document. So syntax here, there is one thing to note here, this is not exactly the syntax because syntax is a generalized case of how to write a program. Here we are specifically mentioning the color. So this would rather be an example and not the syntax. So syntax in this case would be syntax. We will rather write the syntax as body. This is the opening tag of body and bg color equals to here. Since I mentioned uh, this, uh, that the syntax is a generalized case, much like a general formula. So here we will not write red, blue or green. Here we will write color underscore name or we will write this is rather a straight bar X code and then close it by the angular tag we will see the example of this in the next slide Okay, students, so we'll see another example of HTML file where we have used BG color or the background color attribute of the body tag. The more you practice, the more you will be able to get the clearer picture of how to code in HTML and how to make a better web page. I would recommend all of you uh, to do a lot of practice at home. You just need a simple uh, notepad which is installed in every computer. So you can practice uh, on your own and we will also take you to the labs but you can practice at home as well. Then comes the body tag in this. So in the opening tag of body, we need to specify the BG color. Here the background color, let us uh, just write the name as pink. And if we want to add, we can also tag, uh, we can also combine the two attributes of your choice, whichever you want to add. Like if you want to add a text as well, so write text color, just specify the text color as red. So in this manner, you can see, you will be able to see both of these attributes, the attribute of uh, mm, background color as well as the attribute of uh, background color as well as the attribute of uh, color of the text of the body. 
so here you can write whatever you feel like mm. you need to just save it as the html document with the desired name save it as pg colors .html. so now the icon of uh, your default internet browser will appear with the file name you just click on open And here you see so here uh, the title is BG color which is shown here as well and BG color is the title and here we are able to see the background color is pink as we mentioned over here if you are not, if you are not able to remember the hex code of uh, the color you can simply type in the color or if you want the code uh, you can also enter the code over here and we see the code uh, we also mentioned the attribute of text to be written in the red color so here uh, we see that hello we use the comb of two attributes this is written in red so that is uh, that is what what we mean by this that we have used let let me show you one example of uh, where we have used the hexadecimal code hexadecimal code instead of uh, the the color name so if we enter uh, if we enter over here hash triple zero one more zero and double f so let us see what we get over here we just need to save this again control plus s so we have saved this now we close this file and when we open this again let us see what result we get So you see this particular hexadecimal code uh, stood for the blue color the background uh, became blue in this case so this particular hexadecimal code was for the color blue and here we kept on uh, mentioning the color as red that's all then is the link of the body so we see the link of the body whenever we are having a lot of links in our web page there must be some certain color to differentiate them from the remaining text right so there must be some other values some other special provisions for that particular link to different be differentiated from the remaining text that is why it is known as the hypertext and clicking on it we can visit some other page attribute specifies the color of unvisited link in html document so this particular link attribute this particular link attribute it specifies the color of unvisited link in a HTML document. Now this is by default. This such links are blue in color. This is the hexadecimal code I was talking about. So this particular is the hexadecimal code for the blue color. And uh, you can uh, so here again I have, it would rather be an example than a syntax. So this right here is not actually a syntax but it is an example the proper syntax would again specify here this to be a hex code hex code and this to be color name right since it is specifically mentioning these values this is rather a an example and not the syntax again this is for your memory so that you do not do any mistake whenever i'm asking for syntax the syntax you have to write syntax and you have to mention it like this body link equals so here you write the color name or the hex value hexadecimal value 
So you understand we are using this underscore right here. So that this means it's one thing. Hex is not something different. Value is not. This hex is not something different. This value is not something different. Rather, hex value is one thing that is supposed to come between these two codes, these two double codes. Similarly, color is not different, and color, uh, color and name is not different. These this will this is one value which will come between these two codes. So, in the computer language, we use the underscore. So we, this is uh, not the part of discussion why we are not using simple space bar, right? So coming to the next slide, a link. So a link specifies the activated link in the body attribute. So it specifies the color of an active link document. A link gets activated when it is clicked by the user. So for example. Uh, this user is a hypertext and it is of color white, right? Uh, if I just click on this and let us suppose this is a pointer where I click on this and there is this click sound. Then I would like to know where, why, whether this got activated or not. As soon as I click on this, I want the user to turn into USER in red. So whenever I click, if I get this kind of uh, activity in this particular hypertext, I am pretty sure I clicked it. So then, then the user is sure that he has clicked and he has activated the link. So that is what we understand by a link over here, right? So default, default color for an active link is red and uh, this is the hex code. Here is a proper syntax. So here is a proper syntax color name, hex, and RGB code number. So this is the proper way of writing the syntax. There's the V-link, which is the visited link. So V-link stands for, this V here stands for visited. So we have, we would like to know which of the links, if there are 100 links in that page, and we are supposed to view them one by one. So we, I would like to know how far I have gone down the list how many uh, links I have already visited. So it specifies the color of the visited links. So this visited links I would like to know in a document. The default color is purple. Again, this is the hexadecimal code for it. And uh, again, this is the example of, uh, this is rather example and not the syntax of, uh, how you should be using it so we come to know one thing that an exam uh, an example can always be a syntax but a syntax is not necessarily an example right this is one interesting thing to observe here that example is always correct so an example can be a syntax but a syntax may not be a an example All right, students. So here we will see the example of uh, a link, link, and V link. We'll just open the new text document .txt on the notepad. In this uh, tutorial, mini tutorial, we will see that we will come across something called the anchor tag, represented like this. So we'll make use of this to Insert the hypertext which we learned uh, which carries a link uh, within itself. So we'll see the usage of this in a moment. So we'll start the document with HTML. Then the closing tag for it. Then comes the header. Title part. Title. Think of the title as link. A link. And V link. 
so since these are the attributes of body we will use them in the body tag and they are all related to displaying a link so we will also need to add a link in the body element so we start by opening tag of body then the closing tag here we need to enter a link so we'll begin with the anchor tag as I mentioned keep it capital A and here we will use something as href href basically means this A stands for the anchor tag href stands for hypertext reference so where do we find this uh, hypertext that we are mentioning so the value of this hypertext is uh, I, uh, this image suppose we want to show the link to this image so hypertext will contain the address of this image right here so we copied this the address of this is uh, let us show you we click on the properties and we see the location of this particular image on this desktop so this uh, on uh, in front of this we add another backspace and the name of the file so this is the URL which we will apply over here. So ahref will uh, take the value of this image location and then we need a corresponding end tag for anchor forward slash a. Here we will write something like click here. Please note that this click here is the element and this is the attribute of anchor tag. So we will study more about the anchor tag in the next chapter when we will study how to insert links and images in the HTML document. So this pretty much is uh, all. So we will save this program as link.html link.html Here is the file, we will click on open. Alright, so here we see click here, if you click here, we will see the image. So this C user, we will see the same address which we mentioned over here is the same address we will see we just expand it like this this is the same address if we just copy it and paste it say here so it is the same image so this image is uh, image location is acting as the url in this case so that is how we insert the link now if we specify the link color and everything we need to specify that in the opening tag of the body link color we would like it to be blue in color and uh, the active link when the link is clicked on a link will be highlighted in let us make it black and then uh, the visited link link we, which we have already visited let us highlight that in green control plus s we have saved this document now let us open the document again so it is showing that uh, green color which means we have highlighted the value of v green we link as green so we have already visited this uh, image over here let us just close this uh, chrome over here open the document again again it is showing uh, green color let us suppose we open this file in another browser where we have not yet visited this particular link open it in internet explorer
here comes the Internet Explorer. So here we see the link is blue in color. So which was the link color and if we click the link and activate the link we will see black color. Just see. So it turned black. Now it is showing us the image which is the location of the file on the desk. So the top margin and left margin of the body attributes basically represent the distance between top of uh, the document which is the body element and uh, the top of the browser window. So as we can see over here as well, so this is the top of the document or the top of your screen is somewhere over here. This is the top of your screen which you are able to see and this is from where we have started writing. So this particular distance will be known as the margin. Since it is about the top, so this will be known as the top margin. And we have left some space over here as well in the left. So the left margin is the left hand margin, distance between the left side of the document which is our HTML document. So left side of the document will be whatever we have written in the body element and the left edge of the browser windows. Consider this uh, whole screen to be the browser window. So again, this particular distance over here is known as the left margin, right? So this is your, uh, this is your browser's uh, left most edge and this is from where you have started writing so this particular distance over here will be your left margin we can specify both of these uh, left and top margin by the value that we can simply mention in this particular syntax for example if we just write the, uh, the line as body and top margin equals to say double equals to double quote 65 close it so this value is 65 so it will leave 65, uh, 65 units of space from the top from here and it will write somewhere here. We will see this better in uh, the example. All right, students, now we will see the usage of top margin and left margin in the body tag. So we begin our program. Mention the title and the head header and the closing tag should always be there in such cases title. So title is using top margin and left margin. Then comes the body tag. So here in the body opening tag, we have to mention the top margin value. So let us keep the top margin is 65 and uh, also the left margin left. equals 100 let's keep it 100 and write the body element over here hi today we shall see the usage of 
top and left margins. We are done with our program and we will save it as margins.html press enter open this particular web page it says chrome html document just open it So here we see just loading. So earlier in the previous, uh, if you just uh, rewind the videos, you will see this high. Today we will this particular body element used to appear somewhere over here at the at this particular uh, vertex of these two sides in this extreme left top corner. Here we have set the margin of 65 from the top over here and 100 from the left that is why if you just uh, draw imaginary line from here to here you will see that it is somewhat rectangular and not uh, a square so that is because from left we have taken the margin to be 100 and from top we have taken the margin to be 65 just think about this as your notebook where in the notebook also we have the left margin left uh, for the students and the top margin is also left we start writing from somewhere here and here it is actually the left margin because a lot of pages needs to be bind needs to be bound in the wherever the notebook is made so they need to be bound together so we have left we always leave the left margin for that particular binding thread or whatever mechanism is there to bind it so that is all for this tutorial Okay, so that was all for this uh, lecture. We will see you in the next lecture. Stay tuned. Thank you and Jai Hind.